welcome to the NBA show, episode number 444. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and well, we got some pretty interesting news for you this week. Uh, there's not a lot of it, but still, um, there is some. Uh, so anyway, let's pop in with the first news. So, first news is, Pony Life Cup Noodle Hits China. Mm-hmm. So, anywho, uh, <laughs> uh, who's this? Okay, Sofisto. So, Sofisto wrote, branding, brand everything, has broken continue to car, <laughs> continue its cartoon horse world domination with a direct shot to the Chinese market's stomach with this new Pony Life Cup Cup and noodle, yeah, cup and noodle. Hmm. They don't seem to have any sort of real relevance on taste versus character, but they do have ponies on them. In the end, that's all that really matters, right? <clears throat> so, what Fizzle is lacking to point out here is that, uh, from what I'm seeing here, is that there are a few versions of this. Um, I, I don't read Chinese, so I got no idea. You know what? Let's see what the community have to say. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not much in terms of translation. Yeah, okay, uh, we got, we got one here. I, I don't know. Okay, so anyway, um, from what I can tell, uh, there are a few flavors from beef to veggie to spice. I, I'm not 100% sure, but the ponies themselves that are on the, um, cover or on the packaging, they're not normal. Yeah, I mean, they're pony life characters, but that's besides the point. Uh, if you really notice, like, okay, Applejack, Applejack has Bull horns. Wait, why? Why that? That doesn't. That don't make sense. I know she's like a cowgirl and whatnot, but that don't make sense. But if you take a look, see at most of them. These are the zodiacs. Uh, Applejack represents Taurus. Twilight down there represents Gemini. Uh, I I got no idea what is what, but they they represent the. Um, zodiacs. So, I got no idea what's behind them and whatnot, but, or if that is any relevance to the dish and whatnot, but, I don't know. <laughs> um, I do know that this, uh, noodles may come to Malaysia soonish. Uh, if I believe, sorry, I, I do believe that Previously, there was a uh, noodle promotion for ponies, and I remember one of our good friends, uh, Eric, bought them before, and I think he ate it. I got no idea. You can ask him. But uh, this might be coming again for that, and who knows? Uh, maybe you can go try it out yourself. Um, I'm also assuming that these are not kosher or this is not halal. So, yeah, uh, your results may vary. Uh, who knows? There's also, they're also available in the US, in the Chinese, uh, Chinatown market, probably. Who knows? So, yeah, let's move on to the next news. And, <clears throat> crossover collection now back in stock. So, after they disappeared a while back during the release, Hasbro Plus apparently has the crossover collection ponies back in store for Anyone that misses them. This includes Mighty Morphin, Pink Pony, um, My Little Pony Cross Dungeons and Dragons, and My Little Prime. Yay, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, like I mentioned before, a lot of the collectibles like this don't tend to stick around that much. And having this, uh, come back again is pretty awesome. Like we get to buy the stuff that we miss. And the D&D pony, that's cool. I just want to take a look at Prime again. Prime looks fun. Yep. And the prices here are not absorbent. Like, they're... Uh, how else are we looking for? They're affordable? 
30 bucks. Yay, that's cool. And if I'm not mistaken, the D&D ponies are at 50. Yeah, 60, yes. Uh, but you are getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 ponies, including a GM screen. And this is including the character's bio. Ooh. And you'll be also getting a D20, which I got no idea if they have any special symbols on the die. But hey, at least it's something. So anywho, that's the news for this week. Uh, shall we move on to this camera? Yes. So yes, that's the news for this week. Uh, nothing much in terms of entertainment. Um, so let's move on to, well, the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing with my week? Yes. So uh, in terms of entertainment-wise, uh, in terms of gaming, um... I haven't been playing any new games. There's no new games out for me yet. Well, okay, there, that's not true. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 is out. Don't have the cash to buy it brand new. Plan is to get it on a discount when the price goes down. I'm sure Steam sale will help me with that. And also, if I do play it now, uh, the game is a bit glitchy and whatnot. They did a hot fix version one point something four seven something like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait wait it out until the game is a bit stable. Uh besides that, um haven't been playing a lot of magic because well uh there's a restriction on uh, hanging out in stores and whatnot, so uh had to put that one on hold for a bit. <clears throat> uh, other than that uh, let's see. Um, yes, went out with a friend to celebrate their birthday, and that was pretty cool. I had to, I had a chance to go to K Fry. Um, that's a restaurant where they serve uh, Korean style fried chicken, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's um, how do I put this? They fry the chicken, they wrap it in cheese, and whatever. there's multiples, there's multiples, but it's really f- interesting chicken. L- let me see if I can get a picture up. Um, they are, they are you, okay, um, I wonder if this will translate in. Yay! So, we got some, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this was honey, Butter chicken or something like that. And then, um, we got some fries with onions on top and beef. I, I didn't get a chance to eat this one. And, <clears throat> sorry. Oh, got a chance to taste this beauty. Um, it's what? Chocolate cream cookie something. It was nice. It was really nice. Uh, and yeah, this, this is it, this is it, this is, um, this is some of it. And the taste is pretty good. The taste is really good. Like, it was expensive, that was for sure. But the portions were just nice. Uh, all of this for four people, and we were full. Uh, uh, yeah, so that's about it. Um, that, that was really nice. <clears throat> but um nothing more to that like i i didn't really had anything more to eat beyond that um let's see let's see uh i i <laughs> games yes i remember uh i i i did play a game uh, but it, it's not new and that is called puzzle quest on steam and I, I know, uh, your guys are probably wondering, wait, Puzzle Quest? What's that game about? So, uh, this is a match tree game, and it has RPG elements in it. <laughs> I know it sounds loony and crazy, but trust me, uh, back in the days, in the old 10 years ago, something like that, when before I started all this, uh, I played the game on the PSP and also on the Nintendo DS. Um, but for my understanding, those games had 
bugs in it where certain things didn't work and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. But it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun where you get to uh, move around your avatar to certain spots, uh, do quests, and when you go into the game, it's just match 4 or match 3 actually. And you just match the games, collect mana, and then use abilities to uh, deal damage to your opponents. From ROSs to zombies to uh, werewolves and so on. So it was a pretty fun game. So I've been playing that. And also I played the mobile version. Um, it's called Puzzle Quest Magic. And this is in collaboration with Magic the Gathering. So yeah, I got it on the phone first. Got the bug and played it or played the original version on PC. So yeah, I've <laughs> been filling up my time with that. Um, in terms of what I'll be doing next, uh, let's see. I am planning to watch Animaniacs. Like, that's one of those shows that I really want to catch up. Like, it's been a while. I know it's up on Hulu, was it? I don't remember. But yeah, uh, I, I know it's out there and I kind of need to uh, go watch it. So, uh, a few things on my plate that I really want to watch is, okay, Anime and X is one, uh, Brand New Animals another one, um, Castlevania Season 3 that I need to catch up. Um, that's about it. Probably some movies like Le Pen the Third, the first. Wow, that naming convention is just silly. But yeah, um, that's one of those shows that I want to catch up with. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, <clears throat> what, what else can I say? Um, there's a lot of things that I really need catching up with. Yeah. Also, with the other podcasts, I've been slacking on that. I, I really do need to catch up and post. I, I, I got a video out reviewing, um, Not really reviewing, but um, unboxing this bad boy. This bad boy here is... Well, if you do play Magic the Gathering, uh, you, you guys know what it is. But if you don't, this is kind of the um, collection set where a lot of good cards are inside here. And you're probably thinking, Norman, that's just cardboard. It's silly. Like, how... Like, how valuable can it be? Uh, yeah. Just ask yourself the same question when you buy collectibles, like ponies and whatnot. They can get pretty expensive. On the resale value, that is. Um, bought this one for about 200 plus ringgit. If I do remember right, on certain websites, you can get it for as low as nine, $100. And as high as... $200? I don't remember. But yeah, uh, this bad boy here, unbox and a quick look. And then I need to post that video up. Yeah, I, I really need to post that video up. The, oh boys, yeah. So with this one too, I do need to post this one up too. So anyway, uh, I am going to wrap this thing up because I am just babbling right now. Okay, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thebeachwithgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. You can also... <clears throat> and also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitch Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on Live.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion podcast, where we... <clears throat> review pony episodes, comics, <laughs> movies, specials, and more and more. Sorry, my throat has not been really doing well, <clears throat> which is strange. So yeah, kind of been off. Anywho, uh, go do that. Go catch silver myself and Terra. We we do awesome stuff. Yay. So anyway, uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, 
myself like and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So if you want to be like this crazy people here, you can go to Patreon and subscribe. I'm planning to do more stuff there, like more vlog stuff. I, I feel like I, I do enjoy talking to you guys. Um, kind of weird. Yes, but I, I do want to do more stuff like that and see how it goes. So yeah, that'll be there. That'll be somewhere in the future. So anyway, uh, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the NBA Show. See ya.